your work. <laughs> Coral, do your work right now. Okay, so I may have made a bit of a mistake last time. We got really excited about Robin's birthday. And we got really excited about Coral's birthday. Did we leave somebody out last episode? Yes. Yes, we did. I seem to accidentally forget that Blossom, Blossom, who's feeling very flirty, very flirty right now from remembering her first woo-woo, is obviously, um, it's Coral's twin. Oh, your head is going straight through the wall right now as well. Blossom is Coral's twin. So when he ages up, she ages up. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot that. I feel very bad about it, so I'm gonna immediately get her a cake. I saw you guys using the meme where, you know, their mum's like holding the kid in the pool and then the other kid's drowning and then there's a skeleton at the bottom of the pool. And you guys were like, Robin was the kid, uh, Coral was low-key drowning, and then Blossom was literally at the bottom of the pool as a skeleton, so... I am very sorry. I apologize. I want to get her aged up today straight away because I want her to stay the same age as Coral. But what I actually really don't want to happen and what does happen in my game is that when you're pregnant it stops you from aging up which i really don't like so i'm just gonna nip in and nip that in the bud right now using mcc so we're gonna allow pregnancy aging it's currently disabled but we're just gonna go ahead and enable it right now so that it will start next game because if i do you know let blossom and roommate slash new boyfriend august kind of do their own thing then babies may result of it. I do not know. I do not know. August also brought a whole roast chicken. A whole roast chicken to this birthday party. So you, you can't lie. He's done a really good effort there. So we've got little Robin here. A little reminder of how Robin looks. Robin, who's playing with her toys right now in her little alien toy box. She's very cute. She's berry. She's got the berry and dad's got a matching berry. We are the matching berry father daughter duo, which I think is just wonderful. I need to get her a brand new bed, of course because she's a toddler, so she needs herself a little toddler bed. And we're trying to stick to peach. We learned last episode that I don't really know the difference between peach and orange and pink, but we're getting there. I feel like we're getting closer. Obviously, sometimes I just don't have a swatch for it. Sometimes there's something pink, there's something orange, but there's nothing really peach. So I kind of just have to like YOLO it. I've got to blag it a little bit. See if there's, oh, wait a minute. Wait a hot minute. Okay, that's kind of peach. That is peach, which means that is perfect. And I really wish as well, I've got loads of ideas. I've been thinking about this episode a lot. So I was thinking it'd be really cool if there was like a playset that was like cops and robbers or like my first policeman. Cause obviously we know that she's gonna join the police when she gets older, which I think that like, you know, that whole obsession with right and wrong and good and bad will definitely have come from Coral. Cause he has a very clearly divine view of that helped by uh, Clem. So three generations impacting the youngest one. But also we know that they're gonna have a good sense of humor, which I think they will get from Mahina because Mahina is way more relaxed than Coral, way more chill. So I kind of like the idea that, um, why is Pop just on? That is not a sensible place to sit, Pop. Uh, yeah, I kind of like the idea that she gets the, I want to do good in the world. I want to sort right from wrong, just like dad always talked about. So I want to be a policeman. But then obviously on a night time for this generation, she's always meant to be a comedian and she gets that relaxed, happy nature from Mahina. So we've got a little bit of both parents impacting our future there. However, we do have a little tired bumpkin. So let's do Berry Brigade and let's read Robin to sleep. Tales, no doubt, of um, people in berries doing berry-ish things. Grandpa is always also here. Keenan looking very old. He looks sad about looking old, but at least you don't have a sunburn waistcoat anymore. I mean, you know, swings and roundabouts. Oh, and oh no, Keenan's coming to read a bed tutorial instead. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I don't know what kind of stories Keenan will be telling. Oh, she's like, nope, get me out this bed. I don't care which side I get out. I cannot have stories from grandpa. He's probably gonna be like, when we were young and still beating up old folks, of course, now we are old folks, but nobody beat up old folks like your mother. She was the best at that. She was honestly just far better. Keenan, no, babes. No, we don't get bedtime stories from you. And I'm having the cake bug. I get this bug in my game sometimes where no matter what, we just we just can't bake a cake. They get to this point and they cannot get any further, which is bad news for Blossom. I'm gonna see if just buying a default cooker helps because sometimes it does. It does destroy my beautiful kitchen, which... 
I'm not happy about, but sometimes sacrifices must be made. And Keenan kind of low-key ruined my whole berry tale, so you're probably going to be very French. Berries and baguettes. That's what it was going to be about, but um, we will still go ahead and tuck her into bed. Here we go. Cute moments. I predict lots of cute father-daughter moments happening between these two. And just like when Coral was younger, he had like one light that we left on in his room, like a little nightlight. I've done the same with Robin, so she's got her one little nightlight too. Okay, let's see if this cake can work. Honestly, Honestly, cooking cake in a houndstooth two-piece and stiletto is very, very impressive. Yeah, and it's working on this cooker, so unfortunately my CC cookers just aren't working. Although now I think about it, neither of them have the oven pop. How did we cook that first cake? I don't understand how we did- Oh, the oven's there. It's this oven that's broken. Okay. Oh, wait! It's because there's already a cake in it! Oh my gosh, we're gonna have cakes for days now. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and add some birthday candles to this. And then Blossom, I'm sorry, it's been a little bit late, but there you go. You can now blow out the candles. Okay. Keenan dipping out right before the best bit. But you can blow out the candles and you can join Adult Hild as well. It's just that young adulthood, but your back hurts and you get tired more easily and hangovers last for two days. So there we go. Blossom has aged up. Keenan sent her a gift. Not the gift of his presence, but some other gift. And Camille sent us a gift as well. Camille, who is, of course, the godmother of little Robin. And it's now 1 a.m. in the morning, so cake eating is gonna have to wait a day, I'm afraid. Let's get all of these into here. Do I need to get you another job? Okay, your gig starts in six hours. Please get some slips right now. Slap time, slap time, slap time. And I sort of feel like you guys are now at the stage where you can probably sleep in the same bed as each other, although he's not here right now. Can you set roommates to sleep in the same bed? I hope you can. I really hope you can. So what I was thinking is, if I let Blossom, like, just YOLO off and do her own thing, but stay as a roommate, then that will work out good, apart from when she's pregnant. At the end of her pregnancy, she would move out. So what I would do is, if that happened, when she got to the end of the pregnancy, I'd let her move out until the baby aged up, and then I'd move her and the toddler both back in as residents. That way, Blossom will always be here, will always have a Blossom around but we won't be like constrained with controlling her so we'll be able to focus a lot more on peach gen which is the way i like to play things we're not even on peach gen yet we are still finishing off orange no we finished that one we're still finishing off pink gen so i have to complete this best selling author achievement so i've got to write five good books but we quit our job which we were allowed to do when we became an adult in the last episode, which I was so freaking excited about. Blossom, you don't really need that job anymore, babes. I'm gonna let you, you finish working in the coffee shop. There we go. Because you're a YouTuber now, so you don't really need to do that. It's totally... Wait, pregnancy test? Wait, you guys did not woo-woo. You guys did not woo-woo, right? Itching in pubic area. <gasps> oh my gosh! Blossom, no! Sleeping in an infested bed! Oh my gosh, how do I cure it? I have to order a specialized lice killer. I've got, oh my gosh, I got lice from the bed. I got lice from the bed. I'm so freaked out and disgusted right now. I literally can't not even handle it. Let's order her some lice stuff. Oh my gosh, is Olga's gonna be itching too? This is the worst thing that's ever happened in my Sims game, ever. And I'm clicking on a fridge. That's how much I'm freaking out instead of a actual cooker. I'm gonna have to get, <gasps> the computer's locked. So she's gonna, no, you would not ask Coral. I'm gonna get Mahina to order it. No, only Coral's allowed on the PC. She's gonna have to ask her twin brother to order Lice Shampoo. Oh my gosh, this is, this is just, no. Hate this, absolutely hate this. So I don't even know where to order this from. I've never had this issue before. Here it is. Not so wonderful Lice Killing Shampoo. $200, oh my gosh. And Coral. Since you are kind of, um, oh, you're stressed because you're a bit, you're desperate for fun. I, you're not jobless. Okay, I need to sign you up for a job because you're actually a script a screenwriter. I thought I did that. Where, where is your job panel? I do not know. I'm gonna get a high chair and some chairs in here because let's face it, it's kind of looking trudge. Okay, so yeah, since he's, it's his first day. His first big day being a screenwriter, which is really freaking cool. But he is doing this whilst also balancing being a stay at home. Dad. So it's like a, he's doing both jobs at once, but they're honestly both full-time jobs. So this is going to be kind of tough. I did sign him up to like be assigned to the uh, screenwriter career. So I don't know where that disappeared out to. And oh, things are going well next door. 
I'm just gonna leave these guys to it. Did, it. did she do the pregnancy test? I don't really know why she would need to take a pregnancy test. Okay, yeah, I didn't think she would be. I did not think she would be. At some point today as well, I need you to earn some more money because I need to buy you a new bed because, um... Oh, she was thankful that Kate became negative as well. You've got bed bugs, so I need to try and get rid of those for you. And yeah, before we start writing, I've got a whole idea for what we do for our script writing. But before we do, it is probably worth... Oh, we need to, I need to get a potty, don't I? It's probably worth as dealing with Robin first. So that is going to definitely slow down his writing. I was going to get the toddler stuff from the pet stuff then. It is going to slow down how much he can write, but I think he has always been super excited to be a dad as well. So I think he's going to be more than happy with this. It's a very cute little setup he's got. Very, very cute. Wait, aren't you meant to be at your... Oh, it's not till 7 p.m. this evening. Maybe you can let me have my first day then. Oh, this is kind of perfect. Okay, you can deal with Robin and I can settle down and do my first proper day in my job. And yeah, I do have self-employment, so I don't know why he's um, stressed about the lack of job. That kind of doesn't make sense because we're not jobless. We're not jobless at all. Okay, the thing is, his fun is low. And I feel like when you work for yourself, it is much, much easier to procrastinate. He's just started the day. I think, first of all, he would just want to relax a little bit. Actually, he's brainy. He would totally play Bicker Block. You know he would. Those games I don't find fun, but it's because my brain does not work in a Blicker Blocky way. But his would. So let's get him doing some Blicker Block just to unwind just to get himself ready for a hard day's work it's much harder to motivate yourself and maybe initially he's not amazing at it but then like he learned some little tips and tricks because i had to do this so i will go through the tips and tricks that i learned to help motivate myself when you've got nobody like in an office helping you just get into the rhythm and how are you gardening in this rig out like mahina how do you do it please you need to teach the rest of us I don't understand how all parts of your life are this glamorous. You were like, we need a well-maintained garden, so I'm gonna work on my well-maintained gardening. Meanwhile, um, Coral here playing, is, is he good at it? I feel like he would definitely, yeah, I knew he'd be good at it. You just knew he would be going. Okay, and it's great that you've been maintaining your garden well, but we kind of also need to maintain our toddler. So let's clean Robin up, ready for the day. And <gasps> royalty payments have come in. Blossom, I can get you a new bed, babes. You are earning great money right now, Blossom. Why don't I make sure that Mahina always does some funny interactions so that we instill this sense of humor in Robin? So I'll get Mahina to like tell her funny stories to help with her social skills. And the way that these guys bonded is Mahina just loves making her laugh. So we'll do that and we will also do some flashcards for basic needs. But for Hina, Mahina, one of those basic needs is laughing, making people laugh. Maybe she likes doing comedy films for that exact reason. And this little cutie, look at her laughing along. She's learned to laugh before she's learned to talk, which actually everyone does. That's not a special skill, but still. Okay, so we've been playing Blicker Block for a while. Our fun is definitely looking a lot better, but it's almost midday and we've not done any work. Very easy situation to find yourself in if you've just started working from home and you're not really, oh my gosh. Do you consider yourself being close to me? Mum, I'm gonna be brutally honest. No, we've never been close, okay? Don't try and rewrite history. That's my job, I'm the script writer. So yeah, it can be quite hard to motivate yourself to work sometimes initially. Uh, <laughs> this is one way, like you're a naughty car. Get someone to come in with a spray bottle and spray. She's like, Coral, work! <laughs> Coral, do your work right now! Yes, Blossom, I love that. But I'm noticing Coral's a bit stinky. He's just sat here playing video games. He's not in like an outfit that would help him work well. So one of the first things that I find is actually, even if I have a day editing, sometimes I find it better if I'm like showered and dressed and like looking like I will be going for work. Even if I'm working from home, helps you get into a working mindset. So I'm gonna do that with Coral first. Although honestly, Blossom's technique was probably the best one. He wants to have a chat with her about that. But he also wants to publish a book. Okay, I'm gonna pin that because that one's perfect. So there we go. He's washed and showered. The beret is on. The cardigan is on. The glasses are on, which means the bills are not paid. That's what that means. And without paid bills, I've got no power, which means I can't write. So, oh my gosh. Okay, pay the bills first. That would help. Augusta will also leave if we don't pay our bills. So we should probably get on. Oh, <gasps> no! Artie! Artie is dying. <gasps> Artie's Blossom's car. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, guys. Little, little Artie has died. Oh, the baby. Is everyone coming to gather and, and see little Artie off? Oh my gosh, no. No. <laughs> Blossom's little cat, they had these kittens since the first flat. 
that they lived in with Clem. And now little Artie is gone, guys. Little Artie is gone. Now is kind of probably a good time to give you that itching powder. Oh, it's in the mailbox. Okay. Blossom is your cart, but it's also really good destruction while the cart's dead. So go get your lice powder and nobody will notice. So... Maybe do that. Maybe do that. Oh, and one of the other cats is sick. We got vomit all over the floor here. Oh, look at the cats reacting to the death. Pop and bubblegum. Oh, babies. I'm so sorry. Little Artie is gone, guys. Little Artie is gone. Which means bubblegum might be soon because bubblegum and Artie were a similar age. So, yeah, that could happen soon. And Blossom has got a rich in powder. So we've got to do, we've got to get her in the bath. <laughs> we've got to sneak her into the shower right now. And we've got to use our itching powder while she's in there. No more itching. You might want to share that with August as well. I'm just saying. <gasps> and from an ad adoring fan to Blossom. What is in our fun mail? Caress scented candles. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, a stock ticker. Oh my gosh, that's for, uh, no, we don't want that in our house. Jesus, no. We've been sent some candles, which is kind of cool. I like that. I think that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna give Blossom a new bed. This one is infested. I'm just getting rid of everything. I'm not taking any chances. We've put our little candles. I put them by the mirror. Uh, let's get you a new bed, my love. Let's go for this hurry country double bed. See, now that just looks so comfy. There you go, my love. Hopefully that's better. And I've just realized that I think Blossom's bedroom is peach. I think that's peach. Maybe I'll do a swap. We'll do peach in here and pink in Blossom's. There we go. See, I'm learning. I'm getting it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why does putting wallpaper on get rid of I don't understand. Makes no sense to me. But there we go. An updated room and you want to kiss August. I'll allow that. We are feeling very sad now because of Artie. So I am going to get her to call the sadness hotline. And to cheer us Oh, Happy birthday. Can I come over and celebrate you with you? Mom, my birthday was yesterday. Clem, why are you like this? No, you can't come over. I'm about to start my new novel, okay? I'm literally about to start my new novel. And August continues his expensive taste. He brought over some lobster thermidor for us all. Okay, so despite the wailing of everyone in the room and the fact that we are now kind of sad, we're ready to work. We've put our work outfit on. We are in the worky mood. Once you've finished your lobster, you're also now tired. Oh my gosh, am I gonna have to send you for a nap? This helps Ali. This does not help me. I am a bad napper. But I am gonna... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's mop this up. I am gonna send Coral for a quick nap, a quick refresh to help his brain ready to go and start a brand new novel. Okay, so we've had ourselves a nice nap. Now, finally, it is ready to sit on this chair and crack your fingers. Let's get right in a novel. So are we midway through anything at the moment? I don't think we are. No, we are. We're still writing a pirate's tale. Okay, let's finish off a pirate's tale. And then I had a really good idea. We like it when things go a little bit meta. So what I was thinking is it would be quite cool if Coral could write the memoirs or like the story of every gen we've had so far. So we'll do a book called like Minzy Green and a book called Scarlet Red, Saffron Yellow, Ash Grey, Lila Purple, Clementine Orange, and then also his own because it gets very meta. He will be writing his own not so berry gen, which will be Coral Pink. So I thought that could be kind of cool. The whole pet thing has definitely, you know, made our first day a little bit trickier. Mum is calling us nonstop today, which means she might be about to die. My Sims do that when they're about to die. Hmm. Something to take to bear in mind. And we've been asked to accept a fortune. Under what conditions? We get the money straight away. Nice, because honestly, oh my gosh, my child is trapped in its room. Oh, how did, how was that happened? Why is my door gone? Oh my gosh, no. Okay, the child can now escape the room. Didn't mean to do that. But that's great because our house is looking a little bit trash. So I thought we would actually get like a TV on the wall in this episode and that kind of thing. We're going for things from the brownstone collection. Is there a TV table? But this one kind of goes, I know it's a bit too tall, but it sort of goes with his like industrial style. So, oh wait, is this one smaller? Yeah, okay, let's go for the smaller one. It's from Hell Studio. That one, I like the size of that TV better. I'm gonna switch back to that one. And I just think it looks pretty cool. And yeah, I just kind of like the idea that Coral's got quite like a, and Mahina, I guess, have quite like an industrial style. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so he's finally typing away, getting his little work done. August is in here trying kind of to distract him, but I think has given up and decided to go to bed. Oh, I need to assign you your new bed. That's probably why. So let's sign the left side to August and let's assign the right side 
prepared to blossom. Oh, you're not getting on with August. Is it because he's annoying you when you're trying to write? He is quite distracted. He does like to whip out a guitar every now and again and just kind of go wild. You guys have also never had a good introduction to each other either. He's definitely more blossom energy than he is coral energy. Which is fine, because he's dating Blossom, not Coral, but it would still be nice if they got along. And apparently this is just a really comfy sofa. Because everyone keeps coming in, distracting me, and then having a nap. Okay, and we're going to send Mahina off. We've done everything we need to do, and she's doing pretty good at her job, so hopefully- Oh, Oh, you put a dressing gown on to head in? What? Is that because you know they're going to dress you when you get there? Maybe, but she's heading in to go do her gig as a background actor. Work hard, my love, and you will be a star. And we need to have a think about Robin, because, uh, Robin? Oh, Robin's sad that Mihina's gone. But she's also been sleeping this whole time. We're gonna end up with a nocturnal child if we're not careful. And I want to raise a baby, not a bat. Argument anger. These roommates are nothing but anger and anguish. August gets under coral skin for some reason. I'm not sure what, but definitely kind of bugs him. And we're gonna go make sure that this little one is awake. We'll do some potty training. We will get you some foodies. Let's do a little peanut butter jelly. Oh, point level two. Nice job. And then while mom is at work, we'll have a little daddy doll at time. Can I actually play with the toys? Like, can the parents, like, play with? Because, look, they can show toy too. And this toy, she's like a little superwoman. And Coral could be like, ah, yes, she cares about law and order. She cares about putting the baddies in prison and saving the good guys. A little bit like a police officer. I feel like Robin would like, would grandma be one of the good guys? And Coral would be like, no, grandma would be one of the ones in prison. So, but don't tell that to her. So there they are, learning about superheroes, oh, about the goodies and baddies and justice. So that little Robin has a strong sense of justice and that's why she wants to become a police officer, a good cop. And we are kind of super tired right now. You did create an nocturnal child. I did kind of low-key say this was going to happen. I also think Coral would be one to teach manners. So teaching to say please and thank you and teaching to say sorry. Both super important and I can definitely imagine him caring a lot about doing both of them. <gasps> she even put her toy away after her. She's so tight. She is literally mini Coral. I love her. But it's not like just teaching. I also want them to have like cute little snuggly moments too. Because you're not going to be a toddler very long. She's going to age up in three days. So this cute moment, you don't have many of. Oh my gosh, what? No. <laughs> Why have none of my cats ever, 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 in the entire time I've had cats and sims, they've never gone off and had babies ever. They just don't do it. Even if I don't spay them, they still don't do it. Bubblegum? Bubblegum is a freaking kitten making machine. Is this your third litter? Bubblegum has gone into labor again. No wonder this cat's living so long. But yeah, we're about to have more kittens going. Ooh, Mahina's back home. No promotion, but you did have a good day at work. And just in time, because Coral is first day of trying to balancing parenting and script writing. It's kind of low-key killed him, and he's fallen asleep on the floor. Bless him. Let's scoop you up, Coral. Let's pop you into bed here. And then Mahina can be the one to say uh, na night to little Robin and pop her into bed. And the baby are here. Bubblegum just gave birth to a kitten. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Maybe we'll keep the sweet theme. Let's go for fizzy, as in like fizzy cherries. Is it just the one kitten? Oh, it's just one. Just one. Just a little fizzy. It's another clone. With the pink eyes. Was this Artie's baby? Did you have a baby with Artie before you died? These are like a brother and sister cat. Oh, look at your eyes. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh, it's like the two generations. It's No, it's the wrong colors, but it's kind of like um, a sort of like a pink and peach thing. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Okay, Coral's fun was low again. <laughs> So unfortunately, I do have to start things the same way with a little bit of blicker block before we get showered and ready to go. But I'm hoping we can do things like more pre-midday today. That would be ideal. When you were younger, you were always like, why does dad play video games so much? Now you kind of get it. Now you understand why we do it to escape the world of adulthood. And oh my gosh, nothing beats the feeling of crushing that final boss level. Coral has decided he likes video gaming. Yeah, maybe the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree after all. And the cursed children, it keeps doing that. Like it will go down for a bit and then suddenly it takes off again and it's a huge hit again. People absolutely freaking love it. And Mahina has gained the close knit lifestyle. Cute. Let's get you finishing off this novel so we can start the not so berry themed novels. And I'm actually realizing these guys' jobs were 
work so good. Like literally so good for parenting because Mahina's job is like, you know, she'll have a few days waiting for an audition and then a few days waiting to do the big role. So it actually isn't all on um, Coral at all. There's actually like a bunch of stuff, a bunch of times when she's at home to help out. So that works out so nicely. Even though I think she wants another daughter daddy day, Mahina's at home all day today. So it's going to be a mommy daughter day instead. And she is so Coral's child because look at this, thinking level three already. Brain box. August babes, no, if you fall asleep on- Oh my gosh, August. I am gonna start locking that door, sir. <gasps> and the book is done. Okay, brilliant. Let's go ahead and submit to the- Oh, we can only do one cut per week. Okay, we'll do- We'll sell this one to a publisher. A Pirate's Tale. Oh, it's his biography. I thought, forgot he was doing that. And it was a good book. So it's counted towards his lifetime um, aspiration as well, which is fab. <gasps> Oh, and she's having story time with uh, Auntie Blossom, which is so cute. I love that. Oh, look at her getting on the sofa. This is cute. I like that she's got like her middle teeth, but not her side teeth as well. And story time with Blossom, because obviously Blossom's wrote some books too. Maybe she's reading her some of her books. I don't know. Maybe. And okay, let's go ahead and write a screenplay. Okay, write some screenplays. Um, the first one will be called Minzy Green. Oh, is it Min- Minzy Mint, actually, isn't it? Minzy Mint. And Not So Berry can be the name of, like, a screenwriting company. And Not So Berry Production. I love this. The Metinus! It's amazing. <gasps> if I get him enough points, I can make him a creative visionary. He kind of low-key already is, but I might as well be aiming for this as well. So we need to do some of his traits, which now include- uh, Sorry, some of his whims, which currently include leveling up in video gaming. So thanks, Keenan. And August coming and sitting and hanging out with him every time. Oh, look at those beautiful light rays. God rays, God beams. Seems to have helped because they don't hate each other anymore. They're actually starting to get along. And Coral finished writing another entire book. And it was a good one. Which means I've leveled up to the next stage of the best-selling author aspiration. So, achieve level six, done. Publish ten books. Oh my gosh, I'm on what? I've published so many, are you kidding me? And write five excellent books. You are gonna have to be coming. Like, you're gonna have to write so much stuff. This is gonna be intense. He's gone straight to bed, but I actually need you to start publishing Minzy Mint, please. This is gonna be a lot. 10 more books. I swear he's gonna be writing until he's 90. But I'm now a one star celebrity as well, because my books are just that freaking good. They are just that, wow. 13,000 followers, jeez. And don't go to bed at this time. You won't, you can't go to bed at 7 p.m. I'm gonna at least, at least make him start the first page because the first page is always the hardest. The first line is always the hardest. So let's do another screenplay. And this one is called Scarlet Red. A Nutsu Berry production. So yeah, this is probably gonna take me a lot longer than I originally thought. But it's fine because Robin is still obviously a toddler. We've got more time. We've got time to grow Coral into a incredible incredible author i wish there was a way to make him write faster if there's any suggestions you guys have let me know in the comments below because i know that there's something you can do to make them read faster but i just don't know if you can actually make them write faster he's still got another nine books to publish and another five excellent books to write i feel like most of the books he writes are like masterpieces or excellent anyway so i'm not too worried about this one and yeah we are kind of finding balance in work in a toddler tough but I kind of always thought that that was gonna be the case anyway. I think they expected that. And I think Coral's really, look how cute she is. I think he's really loving being a father, but I kind of always imagined him having two kids. Should we try for another baby between Mahina and Coral? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and read Robin to sleep because we are incredibly tired ourselves. And when she wakes up tomorrow, Robin is gonna have... Two days left until she ages up. So she'll have that day. And then the next day um, is when we will age her up. So we will be seeing child Robin in the next episode. They never stick around as toddlers for too long. But that makes a little precious moment you have with them all the more precious. And I think in the next episode as well, I need to figure out what to do. Oh, what, what? We're having an emotional meltdown. Okay. We need to figure out what to do about Blossom. Because her and August are now sleeping in the same bed. August has gone for the approach of just talk until he likes me with Coral. And it worked. It worked. I feel like Coral's a kind of a tough cookie to crack if you're outside of his little tight-knit community, but 
He seems to be accepting accepting August into the fold. So should I get these guys moving on with their lives as well? We do have the do not want pregnancy right now, but what I think I can do is set that to be like changeable. Because I mean, you only really have your adulthood. You can't have baby as an elder. So you need to make up your mind, Blossom. Or maybe Blossom decides not to have kids. That's a completely valid route as well. So let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Nut So Berry with the Coral in the big city, trying to make it as a screenwriter, Mihina trying to make it as an actress. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.